Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Empires Ice and Fire video with me, Mr. Gil. Thank you so much for joining me on this lovely, lovely day. It is lovely outside. I think it's like 15, 16 degrees. The sun is out. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking today about... What are we talking about? We're talking about how to get gold. So I recently did a video saying how to get resources. I deliberately left out a bit, about, a bit of stuff about the gold because I thought that would be better as a separate video. Um, gold is one of the things that you will need quite a lot of. It is required to upgrade nearly every single building. It is required to promote your troops. Um, it is required to make crystals and uh, dragonite fragments and uh, what else is required? It is required to build dragons. It's pretty much required to do everything in the game. Um, how do you get gold? The main way you're going to be able to get gold, guys, is obviously, as always, by completing daily and chests. So hourly challenges, Clash of Province competition, um, and also the daily tasks in your alliance uh, menu. Uh, eh, there as well as your main tasks as well if you can keep those up <coughs> excuse me um so that is basically going to be your main way and that will produce you the majority of gold however we also have the trading center uh or trading house if you would which has a little balloon that little balloon will fly over here eventually it takes them a lot of time i don't know why they have the animation it's incredibly annoying um but in here every day you can trade uh, or sell your resources so we can sell stuff and get gold now every time you sell um, the ratio or the exchange rate gets worse okay so now I get 1.08 million um, that takes 1.08 million ale to get 80 807,000 gold so we can do that now we go sell bam we've got that and then we can see if we go like a so take off and then we call them again call and let's look at the trading exchange now 1.48 million so nearly uh, half a million more i have to sell in order to get the same exchange rate that'll go up and up and up every single time you do it it really depends how many times you want to do it i currently probably sell about five to six times a day um, yeah it's a worse exchange rate but i do have an enormous amount of ale always so we could sell some of that um, that is your main way by selling resources uh, as often as you can um, you're also going to get gold of course from your mints now let's pop over here we've had a video on the mint so you can go look that up if you'd like this produces gold every single hour for you um, it does not have to be attached however one of them has to be attached okay so as long as you've got one attached you will produce um, uh, gold every hour now we've talked about this many 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 times uh, your efficiency will drop below 100% if you do not have full population if you, you do not have full population because you are starving your tavern then you have to make that judgment call this is what I do and I've made many videos on starving tavern charcoal management uh, resource management etc etc so have a look at those um, and uh, you can see why I do it and you can make a decision for yourself whether you think it's good however currently what am I going to produce 81,000 an hour roughly so not too bad not too great um, other ways of making gold are of course raiding uh, by raiding another player uh, you have the ability to steal gold only if you are a raider uh, if you're a farmer, you do not get gold, I believe. I'm pretty damn sure, actually. Uh, it's only if you were in the raider class you were going to be stealing gold. Um, also, obviously, of course, they have elements of depot protection and things like that. So, you know, you might not get what you exactly think you should be getting. Um, how else do we get gold? I think that's it. I mean, you do. You can, there is elements if you're a trader. A trader class you can send stuff for gold i think to other people etc etc but in general that's about it sell stuff oh wait forgot the most important thing the damn horn the horn is a fantastic way of getting gold because it is a random kind of thing so this thing you have to press every so often whenever it pops up it you know it's just a timed thing at the moment i got 500 i've had this go to 500,000, and i've been able to claim that and also watch a video not a video, a kind of advertisement for 30 seconds, and that doubles it. Uh, I'm not going to do that for 500 gold, but yeah, that's a definitely a way you can get a lot of gold. I'd be, I'd be pressing this constantly throughout the day to make sure that uh, I'm getting as much gold as possible. Um, cool. That's how to get gold. If I've forgotten anything, let me know down below, and I'll try and rectify it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Catch you again soon. Bye.